The data is pretty clear that our healthcare system is not working if you ask the question of is it producing health and well-being. The costs are going up, life expectancy is going down, outcomes compared to other countries similar to ours, uh, fairly wealthy countries, is getting worse compared to most countries. Satisfaction is going down, burnout is going up, and uh, and it's just not working. And one of the reasons it's not working is because our model of care, uh, which works tremendously to uh, save your life or pull out a tumor or stop a heart attack or stop an infection if there's a treatment for it in some cases, works tremendously. And uh, that's an acute care model. It's a when you get sick, we will then fix it type of model. It's a mechanical mindset. Works wonderfully when uh, there's an acute care problem or a mechanical issue going on. But unfortunately, it does not work when it comes to prevention, when it comes to uh, health promotion, when it comes to managing complex chronic illnesses over a period of time, and when it comes to disease reversal, which is possible in many cases, because it's not set up, uh, nor does it address those areas. Primary care was originally set up to try to do that. Family medicine especially, uh, as I write in the article, when it sort of got the idea that we have to take care of the whole person, mind, body, and spirit, and that's the only way to actually produce health on a chronic level, uh, it has been picked apart over the years. It's been funded at very poor levels, uh, and uh, it's become more and more subject to a reductionistic, super-specialist approach, and it's lost its way.